，确立习近平同志前党的核心地位，是时代呼唤、历史选择、民心所向。中华复兴号助能就有了党构者。A historical resolution adopted by the Chinese Communist Party Central Committee in 2021 put Xi Jinping on par with party immortals Mao Zedong and Deng Xiaoping. It came one year before the landmark 20th Party Congress, where Xi is expected to further consolidate his status as the country's core leader, completing his rise to China's pinnacle of power. A historic third term as Communist Party General Secretary, when the nation's top legislature removed a presidential two-term limit in 2018, the move paved the way for Xi Jinping to remain in the role indefinitely. While the country's new paramount leader may have only been known overseas since becoming vice president, his ascent to power was decades in the making. As the first Chinese leader born after the founding of the People's Republic, she is among the few remaining children of party revolutionaries, otherwise known as political princelings. His father, Xi Zhongshun, was a communist revolutionary who rose to become a vice premier, only to be purged during the Cultural Revolution. Those ties initially posed a hurdle for the younger Xi, who failed nine times to get into the Communist Party before eventually gaining membership. At the height of the Cultural Revolution, she was among the so-called sent-down youth deployed to the countryside as part of Mao's re-education program. She was sent to work in Shanxi province in the remote village of Liangjiehe. The place has since been turned into a tourist attraction after she became party leader. The seven years she spent in the northwestern province proved to be formative for the 15-year-old, who has said time there shaped his political views. Liang Jiahe is also where he launched his political career. After serving as party chief in the village, she rose through the ranks to become party secretary of Hebei province. In 1985, he traveled to the U.S., where he spent time in the American Midwest, living with a family in Iowa for two weeks to study U.S. farming practices. He would later travel back to the town in 2012 as China's vice president. From Hebei party secretary, she moved on to southern Fujian province to become governor, before being posted to neighboring Zhejiang as governor and party secretary. His tenure during those years laid the foundation for his future rise in the party hierarchy. His path to the top was further confirmed in 2007, when he was named party secretary of China's financial center, Shanghai. By 2008, she was appointed the country's vice president, setting the stage for him to succeed then-president Hu Jintao. When she assumed the top job in 2012, he quickly consolidated power and introduced sweeping institutional reforms. The approach was seen as a departure from the collective leadership that had become the norm in the post deng era. Forming a highly centralized top-down leadership, Xi revisited his approach in Zhejiang and Shanghai, asserting party control over the economy and ideology while streamlining and upgrading the military. Xi's reforms also extended to rooting out government corruption, which included the arrests of high-ranking officials such as former Chongqing party boss Bo Xilai and ex-security chief Zhou Yongkang. But some critics say they were also targeted because they were seen as Xi's political rivals. Xi also clamped down on dissent in Xinjiang, where he ordered a hard strike on violence in the far western region in 2014. He set out two centenary goals, to make China a moderately prosperous society by 2021 and to turn it into a great modern socialist country by 2049. In mid-2021, Xi declared that the country had achieved the first goal. Months earlier, he also announced the nation had eliminated extreme poverty. The 
我国脱贫攻坚战取得了全面胜利，区域性整体贫困得到解决，完成了消除绝对贫困的艰巨任务，创造了又一个彪炳史册的人间奇迹。As China's most influential leader in recent years, she has managed to put a stamp on nearly all aspects of Chinese society by elevating Xi Jinping thought to state ideology. Coining the term the Chinese dream, otherwise known as the Great National Rejuvenation, Xi Jinping thought aims to achieve common prosperity. Xi has also raised China's influence abroad, promoting its success as a model for developing countries and challenging the U.S.-led world order. A concrete example is Xi's signature project, the Belt and Road Initiative. Launched in 2013, China's global infrastructure development strategy has extended China's clout to developing countries in Europe, Asia and Africa. Beijing has followed an assertive foreign policy under Xi, adopting a firm stance in its dealings with Washington and tough positions on Taiwan and the South China Sea. While on the domestic front, Xi has staked his leadership on a zero-COVID policy to control the pandemic, even as the country's economy suffered a slowdown from lockdowns and other COVID restrictions. The last 10 years will culminate at the upcoming 20th Party Congress, where he's widely expected to be confirmed to serve an unprecedented third term, cementing Xi Jinping's place in the history of China's Communist Party.